Jim said he'll get you a new a new pigtail fit fit to this one. This is mine at the moment. And then you've got inside here you've got a jack, you've got a winder handle, and you will handle it also in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So happy with the front end. Oh ATC, Pop, did you have that on your spine? No, that's no. true. What is you, it? Have you heard about have you read anything about it? No. Anti snaking. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what it's there for, yeah. yeah. It's like a trailer control system. Runs off 12 volts from your car. So when you plug in, you'll hear it self-test. And then you'll see the indicator light there, which tells you the state of the test. Mm -hmm. what, so, what colour should it be? Or what? Green. green. If it's green, it's okay. Obviously, it's a bit like a traffic light, but there's no amber in the middle. So green, or green flashing, that means it's okay. If it's flashing green, it just means it hasn't quite completed its test. Normally, driving from here to the gate, that kind of distance, it will fit, complete its test and go solid green. If it goes red, then obviously problem. You can unplug your electrics out the back of your car, plug them back in again, see if it reset. If not, obviously there's still an issue, you obviously need to get that looked at. You may still be able to travel with it, and the system obviously won't be working. So, but the thing is, just move the van first. See, if the van will move, that means it, it hasn't operated the brakes, which is that's how it stabilises the van. Yeah. It, actually, it, it actually operates the brakes on and off. So if it, was, if it was red all the time, it may mean that the brakes will then be locked on. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Not necessarily, but it may be. Does if, this it's flashing very... red, if it's flashing red, likely it has operated the brakes. But again, the... you can check it if it's, mm. if it's moving, and obviously it hasn't, you can still be able to drive with it, but you obviously need someone to uh, check it out. If it has obviously operated the brakes, mm. and the brakes are stuck on, you're going to need something to release it. There is a rod, which is a, a threaded rod, you can take out to release it from the system, which just releases your brakes then. Mm. But it's a bit fiddly to get at underneath unless you know what you're doing. Did they go wrong very often? I, I don't work on these things so I, can't, I couldn't tell you yeah. that but yeah. not, not them aware of, yeah. not them aware of. If anything like these these things got, start going wrong, they'll go on forums and things like that, like the Caravan Club, there'll be a lot of something like that on, yeah. if there was something like that happening, there'll be a lot of people saying about it so yes. yeah. a, lot, a lot of people will be talking about it or you'll be seeing it if you have the yeah. Caravan Club magazines or anything like that. Yes. So it's not, it's not something that, that uh, happens very really regularly as far as we're aware anyway. Okay. Okay, happy with that? Yep. Right, good. Right, down this side, we've got our angle connected. So, you've seen there's obviously what looks like three inlets here. That's right. And what we've got, these, these are the inlets, that's your normal inlet. See that says direct to tap. So your normal operation of your ACK roll water system, so it fills your, your, heat, your water heater and things like that. If you want to, you want to use the tank, you need to fill the tank, so all you do is Take, unplug that and plug it into that. There's a tank fill button on the control panel, which mm -hmm. obviously you press the button as long as you've made sure that you've got the, the drain obviously closed and then you can, that, that just fills the tank. So, okay. so you plug it in there and you yeah. get the water out of here. Yeah, you take the water on there into your onboard tank. And then you can, then and, you, and how, how much does it take? It's around about 30, 30 litres the tank oh, is right. on board, okay. obviously that's 40 litres. So yeah. So you fill that up, yeah. fill the tank up if you feel if you want to, if you're going to use it, yeah. two showers, and yeah. then you just refill that again. That's it, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. The last time we had an onboard tank, we've only had one before, yeah. there was a direct fill. There was right. A plug mm. it, yeah. And yeah. You, yeah. somehow you fill directly into that. Yeah, with a hose um, or something. Yeah. Or something yes, like yeah. yes. Yeah. But you don't do that here. No, no. Right. It, comes yeah. out it actually this. uses a pump that's hit on the end it's of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the pump on the end of there. That pump doesn't operate when it's in the normal position of that. Because it's, it's actually still got a pump on board which actually draws the water up that pipe. But that pump there is only for when you fill in the tank, which is in that fitting there. You can see it's got the two electrodes. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. uses the power from that to fill your tank. Right. You, Once, you don't have to switch anything else on, you just plug that in. No, no, you, there, is, there, is, a, oh, there right. is a button on the control panel which I'll yeah, show you. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. But your normal running yeah. is yeah. that one. Okay. So if you do use an onboard tank, what you can do is to have two side by side as, as such. Fill your tank first, fill your acro back up, and then just plug it into that one. Yes. So if you are using the showers on board, yeah. you, you have still got a changeover valve underneath the, the front yeah, bench there, which that. I'll show you that anyway. Yeah. And so if you're using it, you run out on one, you just turn it and it starts drawing the water from the other. Yeah. And okay. to drain it, I take it it's not advisable to drive with the... I, I wouldn't know, but it's, it's sitting at the front there, so yeah. it's an extra, especially on a, like a saloon car, it tend to be a yeah. bit softer swings on the front yeah. of these. Yeah. So you'll show us how to empty it. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. show you okay. the danger. This one, see that there? Let me see that there, it's got a little shower head. Oh yes, yes. For the dog. Yeah, the dog. So if, yeah, <laughs> so if you want to start watching the dog with you, or yes. your boots or things like that. Yes. There yeah. is a fitting inside there that uh, does connect to that. It's the same type of fitting as that. 
and you just plug into that. Okay. It is just cold water. Yeah. So I don't expect there's any warm water coming out of it. No. Just no. be careful. Obviously, if you've um, got the system up and running and then try and plug it in, just be careful. It might just spray back in your yes. face. <laughs> but the best thing to do is just release the pressure off the end of the hose mm -hmm. yeah. before you plug it in. Because yeah. I've done that before now in February yes. and it's, it's a bit cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. To say the least. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. I don't good. know if you just heard the vent. If you hear the boiler just kicked up then. Oh. That, that's the vent for your boiler. On the previous one you probably had, did you have the boiler in the fire? We your, must have done, we just had a, did you have the, the fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. The fire. Yeah. So you had the yeah. boiler which you had, if you were operating on gas, you'd had a cover to take off? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that you don't. That's that. That's, that's good, that's an advantage. Okay. Yes. The only thing is if you're away in this type of time of year, obviously with leaves fall and stuff like that, just make sure there's no leaves. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Keeping it clean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Obviously you've got your battery fitting. Mm. Obviously you have a, have a look, see if it if it's goes okay and charge overnight it might just be the it may have been that something might have been left on in your old van mm. it's, that's why it's draining it down in that week mm. but if it's been okay up to that point it just seems to be mm. odd but yeah. yeah yeah but if it's if you manage to move with the motor then usually that's that's usually the good test yeah. to see how good the battery is yeah. if, and a lot of moving it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't just one yeah. move it was yeah. shutting up yeah. and down yeah. Yeah. yeah so it must be keeping a certain amount mm. of power in it yeah. That that will show in there somehow, yeah. will it? Yeah, yes. it will. Yeah, you yeah can see like the, the other one did. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you've got a little gauge in there to, to show yeah. you what the power is. Yeah. Obviously, as long as the uh, two forty is not connected, you will see the actual uh, reading of the battery. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I just I just plug this in there because I did try and check the uh, motor mover yes. by unplugging the electric and, mm -hmm. and it, it just moved a little fraction. That, uh, that was it. It didn't mm -hmm. want to do it anymore. So mm -hmm. it was lack of power in here but it's, right. it's working okay because the 240 is in but yes. if it's going to charge it or not yeah right in here is your, your key point for your, your motor mover which is just okay. there behind the electric yeah and then you have also got a external aerial point as well you can connect into the into the band system so, so if you've got an external aerial like a satellite dish or if you've got it on some sides of super pitch they may have a bollard which ha you can connect an aerial direct to your van mm. especially in areas where they've got low you know, poor signal they may have a booster a booster um, aerial that you can plug your van into. And what did you say about the mover? The, the key the key point is just there behind the electrics. So, so when you when you you have an isolated key. The red key. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So that's just yeah. behind that. Right. Okay. Can you move it up with the, on the main? But it shouldn't do. It shouldn't, it shouldn't do. do. No, that's that's the reason why they put them like that. So you, mm. you've got to have to take yeah. the electric out yes. to do that. Yeah. I've often wondered. Yeah, I think yeah. We, we never have with no. our ass, have we? It's not, it's not a good idea. And I no. think, I think it, it may uh, damage the charge if you if you do it mm. that. Okay. Where's water outlet? See, it's just yes. just above the bucket there. Together, yeah. Obviously, flush tank. I was going to say it's pretty similar. I would have thought. Waste tank. Well, is, that, is that the same? Yeah. No, it looks bigger. It looks wider. Is it, is what, it? Is, did it have wheels on it? Yeah. 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 It should be exactly the same as that. Yeah. Exactly the same. Because yeah. they haven't really changed them. Yeah. They yeah. just change them from the old green one without the wheels yeah. into mm -hmm. one with wheels. Okay. Mm. And you've got your drain there for, your, for winter time. So that for your flush tank. Yes. Make sure you drain yes. it down. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. But you can't. There's no. There's no device to tell you how much is in. No. 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 The only. T the only time you know is um, if it's when it's, when it's full, you can see it. Yeah. And when it's empty, there's nothing coming out. Yeah. Yes. That, that's yeah. that's the only yeah. gauge yeah, to tell yeah. you what's happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. You come around here. Just find yourself on the cable and the gas hose. Just put my torque wrench around here. Right. While I've got the torque wrench, I'll just explain that. It is very important that you check your wheel that's regularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got my torque wrench because I will be checking that before you, you move away. Mm -hmm. Okay, it does tell you on your plate here in the, in the smallest of writings. Down here, wheel torque uh, for steel is 88, alloy is 130. Obviously, you've got alloy, so make sure you are checking that regularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is in your handbook as well. Yeah, okay. Okay, obviously, the reason why we do that is so you obviously don't want wheels coming off. Can you show me how that works, the torque wrench? Because I've got yeah. one. You've got, have you got one similar to this? I bought I you one, I don't think you've ever used one. <laughs> 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 is it similar to that? Because there are some, some different variations. But well, you can you can set some numbers on it. Yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. So if you can see there, they've just got obviously certain numbers on there. Yes. While they're in, on, go up in the odd numbers, I don't know. But yeah. So if, you, say you want 130, see, see it's got 126 there. Yeah. Okay, so get the zero on this particular one. Zero is on the one two six. If you can see that, yeah. Then mm. you need obviously it's hundred and thirty, so you just add an extra four to it, and, that, and then tighten that up. Mm. Then all, all you do, if you, it, it clicks. So that that is the correct setting. If it's still turning, obviously it isn't click. So you keep doing it. Yeah, until it goes, it. and that's at the correct yeah. setting then. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will. I will do. I'll do that on both of the wheels afterwards. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was what you did, but yeah. I never had that's to. That's one of the things if you never used it before, yeah. obviously it's something different. Yeah. Right, well, obviously, with this model, you've got 
230 outlet and gas barbecue outlet as well. Yeah. And you've got this, uh, because the handles are going to be slightly different than what you've had previously. Yeah. So your locker there, if you see this spring here, that's what's holding your door up. Just mm -hmm. be very careful that if you're reaching in there and you do that, yes. your head's up. I've, I've spammed me in a couple of yes. times when I know it's there. Yes. Okay, so just be careful. But that obviously to re release the door, you just release that. So lean in from this side. Yeah, just be careful you don't knock it. Yeah. Oh, it it's, can, quite, it's quite it's a reasonable amount of space there, yeah. It's a bit bigger than ours. Yeah, so you've got a bit well, of space down there. Ours was a, was a well, wet locker. It was yeah, a sealed box. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is, so you stick your wet boots in there. You're introducing water oh, into it. I? Whereas yeah. on the other one, it yeah, was a it was sealed a box. Yeah. yeah, you could just get you can get these little plastic containers. You could probably yes. pull yeah. out, yes. put your boots in, and put them in there. Yeah. That would just hold yeah. the. Yeah. Or if you've got a, what we tend to do if we, when we got we always have our awning up or porch awning yes. and put leaving the porch awning to keep. Yeah. Obviously, it's not going to rain on them, but yeah. it's not going to keep yeah. warm. But okay. I think our awning, wrong. We've got we've got one of those. Uh, wind, uh, Royal Windsor, you know the bendy poles. I think oh, they're yeah. 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 going. Yeah. They're really, really. It was very cheap. It was, yeah. It's been the best one of yeah. all the others we've had. I know some of the cheapest ones could be just as good. Honestly, just as good. stayed good. through Windsor. What we've had, um, we've had them come over, haven't we? Okay. Mistral wind. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. this one, it's, it's, um, it's been really good, and I quite like those that. Air ones. Yeah, they're very very popular at the moment. Them, them blow up ones. They're yeah. sturdy. Ones, oh yeah, so. very sturdy. once they're blown up, they're really sturdy. Yeah. Mm. You, obviously, you peg them down the same way as you would do in a normal awning, but they are yeah. pretty solid. Yeah. Must admit, yeah. they are pretty yeah. solid. Yeah. Right, I'll just show you the. You can just see the. Obviously, it's got a slightly different handle or lock that you would have had previously. You can just use gravity to shut it. Okay, just make sure it is shut. I'll just yeah. just get the key and just show you the locking. Right. They are similar to a motorhome type kit, uh, lock. I'll just, see, I'll just make sure it hasn't been locked already. Now. So if you see that there, I was trying to push that in, yeah. it's coming back out again, that's not locked. So if I lock it by the key now, then it, it yeah. locks itself. Yeah. But, obviously there's a, there is a risk of that. If you've done that, I thought, oh, I'll lock it again. Yeah. But I can still open it, I could get I could get in there, I could leave the keys there, yeah. and then do that. And yeah. that, and your keys have just been locked inside it. Yeah. So just be careful, yeah. just be cautious of that. Yeah. Yes. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're definitely going to be losing that inside here. Okay, right, your awning light, you can operate it. Oh yeah. Yes. Bulb. Yeah. yeah. So the third yeah. button down on your on your fob is, yeah. is the awning light. Yeah. The second one down, that's to set your alarm. So you just right. press press and hold it until you go beep. One beeps on. What you should see is the marker lights will flash. Two beeps are off. Um, okay. Like yeah. yeah, and then you got a torch, torch at the end of it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You can set the program, so it change the sensitivity of, of the uh, alarm. So it's got a PIR sensor, a movement sensor inside. It's also mm. got a tilt sensor as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think ours has got some of that. Yeah, mostly most of the time they got yeah. some similar of them anyway. Yeah. Then you got keys, which one key does all, so you got one on a spare. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Right. If you like to go inside, right. you've got your. Or James, put your uh, number plate in. I'll put that on after. I think the other one's the other one underneath. It's still stuck to me. I think James is saying. We're going to have to uh, because we we mainly keep these carpets up. Yeah, I do, I do the same. Yeah, well, I've got but, three dogs bangs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Lovely and warm. Yeah, well, that's it. That's you obviously you never had Aldi before. Yeah. It, Aldi is very good. Once it's up and up and running, it, it keeps the van very nice. Yeah. But um, it's just a bit it takes a little while to get it get it warmed up. But a different colour these carpets, aren't they? I think it's just the, the way it's been. You know, if you do that or that with it, mm, the pile. Yeah, I think it's the pile on it. Hey, I did notice that before, but I think it's the, the way it's brushed. If you know what I mean. Oh, this might have been down, and that might not. But I'm thinking yeah, one's been possible, used more yeah. than the other. Yeah. I think it possibly yes. has. Yeah. yeah. So it's just two carpets. That's all we need. Is it? Yeah, there's one in the bathroom. Oh, there's one there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've got one in the bathroom, but we never use that. No, we we no, take it up. Mm. I was taking it up. Right, so if you look look above our heads, or my head even, there's a control panel. Oh, I'll, just, I'll just switch the radio down. Yeah. You've got to discuss me, do we? Right. Okay, if you can see that, there's no lights on it at all at the moment. You can see everything else is up and running, so what's happening is, is the control panel's asleep. I can press any button just to light it up. Okay, mm -hmm. so the 12 volt system switches power on and off is that one, power button. So that's your master switch. So right. you always need that operating when you're uh, using your van. Yeah. Like I, said, I just saw that now. If you press view levels, that's showing 14 volts on that battery now, so that's 
putting a fair bit of power into that because before when I switched it on, it was just showing 12 and mm. that's with electric plugged in. So I think that's, he's taking mm. a charge. But how long, how old how is long the battery? How old, how old is the battery? About two. Two, two years. Two, yeah. Two, two, yeah. 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 How so long just, just keep it on. Oh, it's difficult to say. It all depends mm. on how they use and mm. it's, it's difficult will, to say. Will this can... kind of van use more out of the battattery? But we'd always but have if, it if, plugged if in. If you've already plugged it? in, it's not going to make any difference to it, really. Mm. It's yes. when you you're say you're on a, a rally or something like that, yeah. that kind of site, mm, yeah. when you've got no electric. Yeah. That's when you yes. you find out how good the battery is. Yes. Okay, but it shouldn't affect you while well if you've got electric plug in, yeah. which most people do. Why anyway. is that red one flashing? That's there? to say your fresh water tank is empty. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's why yes. that's what. Why have you got away. leisure and vehicle? Yeah, well, that's mm -hmm. the car. Yeah, so pre in years gone by, caravans weren't as not as well specced as they are now mm. and say, say the same as they used to use a lot of 12 volts from the car mm. and they've yeah. still got that option on on the on this set at the moment or it can be similar to uh, similar to like motorhome which obviously got a so I, as well I, as well. if i you click can, on this yeah then it will bring the drain that yeah. car it'll come it from the car yeah, yeah. so that, yeah. that that is when you're on site it's not when you're traveling yeah right it's, when, it's if you're on site and you left yeah. it connected to your car and you wanted to use 12 volts from your car, which is probably not a good idea. No, no, I'd never you do drain it. a battery on there, especially modern cars. You probably mm. wouldn't like it too much no. if you don't go and drain a battery. I wouldn't on that. use it, but I, I no, just think there is that possibility mm. on it if you wanted to. But so, do you have to click this one? When no, you, no, it, it will automatically go for that one. It, it, that's the yeah, default. It will yeah. automatically yeah. go to that unless you've got a vehicle and you definitely press that button to put it onto the vehicle. It won't go. Right. It okay. won't do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. View levels. So that's showing battery on the 14 volt, which he's going for a charge at the moment. Yeah. As I said, fresh water tank that's empty at the moment. Yeah. Water pump switch, and then fill tank switch. Okay. Right. So that's that's your normal water water pump. Yeah. So obviously getting the water through your taps or whatever. Yeah. The other one is just to Do fill you your tank. Do you always have to keep pressing that water pump? No, on, so no. Know. Once no. you, it's just a switch. Yeah. When you arrive on that's site, water off. Switch it on. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Once you're on site. And just, this one though, this is to. to that's to fill your tank. So you yes. remember the the top out inlet yes. on the on the outside. You plug your pipe in there, come in, and then switch that on. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah, that's good. Right. As, when you first switch your water pump switch on, it will start beeping at you. Oh, thank goodness you've told us. That. Yeah, because it will start. It will. Uh, well, you just press view level. That's it. You just starts it. It's telling you, even though you may not use the onboard tank, it'll still want to tell you. Oh, by the way, you, your water tank's empty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy with your control panel? Yeah. 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 Yes. Good. Right. I'll just show you. Just underneath here is your where your water tank actually is. Yeah, you have okay. a good look at that, John. You yeah, see that down there. Do it, I'm going to go dizzy. Oh, yeah, right. You have to right. get down on these. Yeah, okay. you see, see oh, down well, there. You... I might have it to press something. No, I think you, you're, right, you're still recording. Yeah. So, if you see, that, obviously, the big black box, that's, that's your actual onboard tank. So, that's your fresh water tank. Yeah. The drain next to it, that yellow drain, which you'll probably see somewhat similar to what you've had on your previous van. Yeah. 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 That's just to drain that tank. Okay, the one this side, there's one this side, yes, you should see, that see is it. the rest of your water system. So as you would have drained previously, your hot water tank in your tap system mm. is the one on the left. The one on the right is for your onboard tank. Okay? Yes. Well, the one on the right, are you the yellow one? Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's two yellow, yellow ones, here. There's you yellow can't see it, there's oh, one here. Yeah. yeah, well I've but, got it on yeah. this film. So the one, that one on the right is for your water tank. The mm. one on the left is for your hot water tank, mm. water and your taps. Yeah. And uh, when they're upright, it's open or it's closed? Yeah, it's open, yeah. So it'll drain the water out onto the ground underneath. Right, right. So yeah. for winter storage. Yeah. That has to be. Yeah, lift them lift them both up. Lift them yeah. both up and open right. all the taps to centre and that allow the air obviously to run through the taps and yeah, out through the. Tap, yeah. Yeah. Best thing to do, or what I do when, when I'm leaving site, my wife jumps into the van, opens that up, lifts all the taps, and as we're driving down the road, yes, that bit of movement getting is helping it out. to drain it out. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank right. you. Also, we've got, so if you remember outside, I said what you do is fill your onboard tank. If you're going to do that, you have two contact walks there. That's not your van, by the way. <laughs> that is a compressor at the back, so you might hear that fire up any second. Um, if you remember outside, I said about you can fill the onboard tank, then mm -hmm. fill the acrol, and then pull the acrol back in. Then you've got the option of like two water mm -hmm. tanks then. Mm -hmm. This here, see that white, white lever, that is to operate between either acrol or onboard tank so you've got, you've got an info note on the door look so if you yes. see that now the uh, that it's, is pointing towards yes. the acro yes. yes okay if you imagine that it's pointing towards the acro yes. that will be using the water from the acro right if you want to use the onboard tank you just turn it so it points downwards down yeah okay, right. yes okay we just show you on here look 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to use that, then you just point that down. Okay. And this, okay, and that will this pump. white box here then on the left. That, that's your pump. That there is your pump. Okay. So that pump's sitting in the middle there, ready to draw water whichever way it's going. And the white box thing on the right of that, what's that for? Which white box? Yeah, we just got. Yeah, there's a, like a bottle thing. A bottle? Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a surge damper. Mm. So it stops it going back, 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 back. Because usually it's a tap off, the pressure will, it will bounce back yeah. and forward, back and forward. Yeah, we've and had that, that on the other yeah. one. The, the, we've got it a, starts vibrating. A little, mm. yeah, li yeah, a little pressure switch. Yeah, a little pressure switch, yeah. yeah. Is the one on there? Um, I think it's all part of the pump. Right. Mm. Yeah, it's all part of the pump. So the pressure switch on that. Okay. Okay. Good with that. Thank you. Good. So you're quite happy on how to get water into the system, how yeah, to get air so. out. It'd be exactly the same yeah. as what you would have done last time. So open the tap. So what I do, I always open the cold tap first on the in the kitchen, get the air out, right. and turn it across to the hot side and get the air out of the hot water tank. Is that is that thing all right there? Because it looks like it's coming in as a as an angle. Oh, yeah, an angle, so yeah, it should be right. Yeah. Nothing to leak there. Yeah, we'd be leaking now if it was because that's there's water in. Yeah, there's water in there, so it, it would be. Yeah, it would be coming out of that by now if it, if it was, or was going to. Because obviously you can see it's quite dry. Yeah. The other thing is obviously you wouldn't store anything in there because there's no room to put the storage no, anywhere, no, anywhere, no, anywhere near no. it. So it should be fine. Okay. Uh, what does a green light? Yeah, that that's 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 light. just to say you've got power on your um your alarm. So that's the PIR that's sensor. The alarm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we got. Well, yeah, it's, it's just to say it's not set, but it's just showing it there's power there. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yes. Right. Thank you. Right. I'll just show you. Obviously, water running through. So you make sure you do get all the air out. So we'll operate all the taps one a, one after each other. Mm. Obviously, it will sputter in a second because I pull the pipe out. There we go. Yeah. So I, I have primed it already, but just make sure. I'm going to shut the door now. Get it cool. <laughs> <laughs> especially if the uh, compressor kicks in. So do, I always do, operate the cold side first. Turn it across the hot side to get obviously fill the hot water tank. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll probably see some hot water coming out of this in a minute. I hope. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. you want to stick your finger on the name, but no, you, see see the steam, steam, you see the steam, steam coming yes. off it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And that noise yeah, that's is the pump. all right. That's the pump, yeah. So if you don't get all the air out, that pump will continue that bit longer, and it's obviously very annoying okay. if you leave it running too long. So do the same with all the other taps, get the air out of the system. Otherwise, it will uh, run that little bit longer. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay. I just thought you to, to, to show you the heating. Sure. To show you the heating, I'm going to just have to step outside because I can't. Yeah, because they put them in an open place. I don't know if you want to point, point your camera at this. Yeah, we'll go around and do yeah. it. Right, this is your control panel for your heating. Okay. Yes. That's the on-off button there. You see a green light inside. It has to say it's operational. And it's okay. If it goes red, then that means there's a fault. Okay. Yeah. Normally, it will come up with a fault. Mm, yes. It will tell you what the fault is. Tell you what the fault is. Yeah. Okay. So on the main screen, that little circulation thing there has to say your heating is being circulated around your van. Okay. Yes. That there is to say you've got electric connected ready to use. Not necessarily it's running on electric, it's just electrics there. Mm -hmm. And that is there is your room temperature. Okay? Yes. So just going back to this plug here, if that plug's not there, you will not be running on electric. Okay? So make sure that is on there. The way you if, if it's not on there, what you need is to have a look at the consumer unit. So if you just open this door here, there should be a consumer unit in the bottom of that. Just press the button it should it. So in the bottom there you see the consumer unit yeah. and there's an orange light yeah. button. It says heat and hot water. If you just press that off, just press the button. The orange yeah, one. The orange one. Yeah. Right. If you have a look at the heating control panel now, little plug's gone. Okay, so you will it will not be running on electric. No. So if you switch that button back on again. So if you ever thought, oh why well, well, I've got no heating, especially if you haven't got it switched on gas as well, yes. it's right good it's that. Okay. Okay. So if you want to change anything or change any of the settings, press the menu button and it comes up with this screen. So to change the temperature, you've got the plus or minus buttons. So it's a maximum of 30 degrees, okay, if that's not warm enough for you. Uh -huh. if, obviously if it's too hot and then all yes. you do is just bring it down. Yes. Okay, it won't cool it down, obviously it'll naturally drop to the temperature. If I look back on here now, well, it's 18, 18, degree, 18 degrees yes. room temperature, I've said it's 18.5 so obviously the, it's still running. Yes. If I bring it below the room temperature, I'll just you that little clunk then. Heating is now off, right. okay? Because I've yeah. set it to 16.5. Yeah. It will only the heating will only come back on again yes. unless you either increase it yes. or 
the temperature drops in the van yes. and it will come on automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy yeah. with that? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just bring it up to 20. Hopefully the, there we go. So heating's now back on. Next one along is your water heating. That's water heating off. That's normal running water heating. Okay. H half black. Yeah. Half don't ask me why, but it's half yes. a triangle coloured in is your yes. normal running. Yes. Okay, Jim. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's your normal running. That that temperature of the water then, that was normal running. Yeah. If you want to use the onboard uh, shower and you want extra hot water, yes. if you press the plus button again, full triangle coloured in now, yes. that is now concentrating all the heating on the hot water now, yes. on that boiler. So what it will do, if I go back to the main screen now, he says. So normally that will shut down off. It isn't on this one. So I'm not sure why that's doing it. That. Normally what happens, that will go off. The, the circulation pump will go off. And it'll unless concentrate it, and on... Yeah, it holds all, all the hot water in the tank. Yes. Obviously, oh, unless you obviously open the tap and use it. So normally the heating will go off. Yeah. I'm not okay. sure that's... So I just saw the uh, chief engineer then. Mm -hmm. He's anywhere near. I'll go just grab him. Cause, him. Yeah, because mm -hmm. normally that goes off. If yes. you put the water in, because what it's doing is... Concentrate. If, if the heating, if, yeah, so it's it's keeping all the heat there. If the if the heating's on, it's mm -hmm. obviously drawing the heat away from the boiler. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what will happen is that will operate for thirty minutes. Yes. And automatically go back, unless you do it yourself by manually pressing that button. Yeah. Go back to normal running, and normal then it should leave, yeah. then allow the heating to come back on. Mm -hmm. But I'm yeah. not sure why that's not doing that. I'll ask him. I'll ask, ask him. Yeah. Okay. The next right. line along is the energy. So the first line is electric, so that's electric off. You've got one kilowatt, two kilowatt or three kilowatt. Okay. Wouldn't that blow most? Um... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very possibly, yeah. yeah. So you've got the option of gas as well, that's gas on. Okay, it will let you know if it fails to light. Reasons yes. may be that you haven't, haven't turned your gas on, yes. or you haven't got any gas, or yeah. it might just be a bit of air in the system. It's gas or electric. Yeah. Yeah. Gas or electric, you can both. You can yeah. both. Yeah, you can operate them both. But just going back to the, you were just saying about obviously three ki kilowatts, especially if you've got the ring going on there, you've got your microwave, yes. you've got your fridge, yes. you may have a hairdryer, everything, all that yes. lot. Obviously, you can overdo the ballard, yes. and then that ends up tripping that. What you can do, so you reduce it down to say two kilowatts and yes. run it on gas as well. Yeah. What it will do is use both energies to, from cold, get up to temperature. Then it'll shut the gas off. Tick, mm -hmm. Ticks over on the electric. Mm -hmm. Then, if obviously, if you either like yourself, leave the door wide open, temperature mm -hmm. drops, or mm -hmm. use a lot of hot water, the gas will kick back in again, mm -hmm. boost it back up to temperature, then shut the gas off again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it won't continuously be running on that. Yeah. The other thing is, in winter, you've got it on just two kilowatt. Imagine at home, your kettle is probably two kilowatt, mm -hmm. and you're just boiling a little kettle with water in it. Mm -hmm. Imagine this two kilowatt is trying to heat the water and this room, mm. two kilowatt it's, itself may struggle to get the temperature you want. It'll, obviously it'll warm it up, but it may, mm. especially if it's really cold, it's, it's mm. gonna struggle. So add the gas to it, Yeah. and it should be, yes. obviously gas on its own would be sufficient, but yes. obviously you don't yeah. want to be using all your gas when you no. pay for electric no, that's right. with, with your pitch. Right. Mm. Okay? okay, happy with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is further menu, which includes timers and all other things. If you want me to go no. do a quick through that. Do we need timers, John? I doubt it. Well, is this in the book? Yeah, it is, it is in the book, and there's. I don't know if I know how, how handy you are on the internet, but um, if you go onto YouTube and look for Aldi system, mm. which is the mm. Aldi Aldi themselves, which is obviously that one there, and mm. um, there is a video on this around about five to seven minute video, which is quite a good one to, mm. to look at. It would be explain. handy if you were using it in the winter. You're going mm. out for if the day, it, and you'd like yeah. it to be on. Yeah, if you want to put it on a timer. Yes. But, there again, most people yes. just leave it on. on <laughs> just, yes, just leave it just on, on low. So yes. it, it ticks over on and keeps it as good as van. anything. Yeah. Mm. Yes. There's nothing worse than coming back to a cold van, isn't it? No, no. Okay, so you happy with that? Yes, yeah. thank you. I'll, I'll just see if he's. See if he's here. Mm. If it was him or not. It's definitely a different shade. It's mm. not the pile, is it? No. Perhaps needs cleaning. Mm. Do you know what cleaner? Yeah. This is good, this is too, too sure, yes, too it's good. That other one, maybe. It may have been, you can only see the full because mm. it may have been behind it. Should I switch this off? 
till he yeah. comes back. Watch us.